God bless you and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing Basla's newest LEDs. These are the Chameleons. So if you've seen the previous video where I put these ones in, these are really bright. These are their Bullet B1s. I use these in every build. Really cool, very bright. These are 60 watt bulbs. These are 100 watt bulbs. So these should be much better. And right off the bat, I like the way this is packaged more. So huge thank you to Basla for providing this for a review. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this open. All right, so right when we get it open, you can see it's neatly packaged. They have a green and gold with silver on the other side. Very nice quality. Has a nice ballast, and if these things work anything like their other ones, I did not have problems with these. And these don't blind people if you aim your lights down and just make sure that it's not pointed up in people's eyes. LEDs are not the problem, guys. It's literally... People never change their lights and get them properly leveled. So that's one thing you gotta make sure to do. But yeah, very nice quality so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ones out of the truck. We'll compare these side by side and get these installed and see how much brighter they are once it gets dark. All right, so if you didn't see a previous video of me putting these LEDs in, these headlights are super easy to take out. There's two Phillips head screws. Once you get these screws out, then this will just slide right out of there. Now this thing just pulls straight out. Undo the connector, get the bulb out. All right, so right away you can see that the Bullet B1 Bright does not have a ballast. My low beams have a ballast, but not the brights. And I specifically wanted these for the brights so that when I turn the brights on to see deer, I've got as much light as possible. Now I always lower my brights when other cars are coming towards me and some people don't. So with these ones, it might blind them enough to where they will lower their brights um, whenever I flash them. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and put this in this one's place and see how it does. All right, so before we put the new one in, I wanna do a light test just to kind of see how it compares. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the brights on. This is the bright, and that's where this one is gonna be going. So we're gonna compare, even with the daylight, just to see how much brighter it is. Low beam, here's the bright, and off. So now we're gonna swap this out and try it again. All right, there's the low beam, and there's the brights with the new chameleon bulb. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this driver side as well, and then we will see how much of a difference it makes because I have a before video with the other bulbs in and then we'll have an after with these ones in. All right, so we're gonna do a test before it gets dark. We got the low beams, brights, low beams, brights, low beams, brights, low beams, brights, Low beams are back to normal, brights are back to normal. So everything seems to be working perfectly fine. All right, so this is what it looks like with the low beams. It's the same low beams as before, but the brights are much brighter now. I can see a whole lot farther than before. So these 100 watt bulbs are definitely a lot brighter. So I really like how far they see, as opposed to the 60 watt bulbs. And that's back to the normal low beams and I can see pretty good now so deer should definitely not be a problem but we got a big storm moving in so I'm trying to beat it back to the house because I don't want to do this video and this test in rain because I didn't do it the first time in rain so yeah definitely a pretty big difference between the two those things are really really bright so if I adjusted these out just a little bit more and maybe up just a hair, it would be even better, but this will work and I won't be blinding people hopefully because I don't have them aimed up too high. So uh, we're going to go back to the house and then we will go over a little bit more. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. All right, so I've got to be quick because there are a ton of June bugs right now trying to attack me because the lights are on. But uh, yeah, definitely a huge difference with these newer ones. They will be linked in the description along with the bullet so you guys can see a per price comparison. 
And uh, yeah, it's definitely made a huge difference. So I'm really impressed with the newer design and I liked the old design. So that is basically it for this video. There will be more to come as soon as possible. So bear with me, we've been doing a lot of work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. Uh, killer June bugs coming. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the outro and here it is. I just wanna let you know the gospel, which means good news. And the good news is we don't have to live this way no more. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Jesus died and rose again, conquering death for you and I. When he went to the cross, he was thinking of you. No matter what you've done, you're only one step away from the cross. So all you have to do is repent, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus rose from the dead, and you will be saved. And I just pray that this message reaches the right person, because I don't know who this message is for. But I just put it at the end of my video and pray that it goes to the right person. So God loves you. He's calling you, and he even wrote a love letter to you. Click the Bible link in the description. It's totally free. I get nothing from it other than the fact that you can make it to heaven. And it's not of your good works. It's not of mine. We are only saved through one name above every name, and that name is Jesus. And in the native tongue, it would be Yeshua. And if you want to go all the way back, Elohim, the creator of all, Jesus is calling you. He loves you, and he died for you. That's how serious it is. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of eternal life is through Christ Jesus. All you have to do is accept the gift. If I was to give you the keys to my truck, you couldn't have them unless you took them. Well, the same thing for heaven. Jesus is providing a way out. Everyone is on their way to hell right now on this one path to destruction, and he's providing the way out. It's that simple. God loves you so much. And I pray this message reaches the person it's intended for. Jesus does love you. And if you prayed for a sign, this is it. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here, but I just wanted to let you know this. Jesus does love you. God bless, stay safe, stay awesome. Jesus loves you. Yeah.